this is Tom with Fresh Vintage Garage. Today we're checking out a brand new product line. This is Mucar. We'd like to welcome Mucar to the channel and thank them for sponsoring this video and sending this over. Today we're looking at specifically the CDE 900. What this is, is the more we look at it, the more we feel a, uh, a code reader with some expanded capabilities. And we'll explain more about what we're talking about in a minute here. As I open this up, I just wanted to shout out to the back here. This says General Motors Diagnostic Tool. Don't think of that as like the GM that you and I know in the United States, so to speak. Think of it as like all motors or general motors coverage kind of thing to where it covers most all vehicles. Opening up the box here, let's see what's inside. This is a four inch touch screen. There's the paperwork and the charging cable in here. So we'll do that. Close this up. There's that. And it's not going to stay standing. Here's our actual unit. Pretty nice chunky looking thing. It's got a power button on the side. And then on the bottom I believe there's a charging port for that cable. Yeah, so it's a USB-C, so big props for them for USB-C. And if you wanted to record data, like live data graphing off of this onto a micro SD card for playback on a actual like computer, you could do that there. Uh, speaking of computer, this has two gigs of RAM. I think it has Android 6, if I remember correctly on their website. Uh, 16 gigs of memory, and it is a four inch touch screen. So nice to have the actual touch screen. Buttons feel pretty clicky. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll you know, tinker with it more when we go out and scan the car. This has uh, coverage for OBD2, and what I mean is it has live data graphing, code reading, you can erase code, it has EVAP, IM readiness, and whatnot. Um, it has basic essentials, like a good starter scan tool. If you want to expand into, say, like ECM, PCM, SRS, and ABS, there's a one-time $40 fee that will unlock and expand the capabilities of this into those four extra categories. It's a lifetime fee, so it's nice that you only have to pay that one time. And thinking of it in that context, it puts it in the price of like a King Bolin E-Diag or a Top Don, Top Scan Pro. So if you haven't seen those videos, definitely check those out as well. We'll leave the links for them in the description of this video you're watching now. But I say all that to say this gives you a standalone scan tool so that you're not actually tying your phone up when using like a Bluetooth dongle type situation. Uh, this has OBD2 coverage with a like an asterisk next to it. And what I mean is this is 96 and newer all US vehicles, OBD2 compliant. It is 2000 and newer EU vehicles. So think like Mercedes Benz and Porsche and so on and so forth. And actually it says 2008 and newer Asian vehicles. So we're going to go test that theory right now because we actually have a 97 Corolla with a check engine light on. And uh, we're gonna go see if this actually reads and connects to the car and, and reads the code. So real quick here, we were tinkering around in the settings, making sure the software is up to date on this thing. And lo and behold, we found a Chrome browser. This is running Android 6, so it has Chrome on it. So we uh, pr promptly went to YouTube and we went to Fresh Vintage Garage. So make sure you uh, subscribe for us. We really appreciate your support. And uh, you could literally sit here and watch YouTube on your scan tool. I would not recommend this because there's all kinds of malware and stuff online. You never know what you're going to run into. But awesome to see you could literally go in and just punch in an OBD2 code if you wanted to do a quick Google search to find out what's possibly going on with the vehicle. But uh, that being said, let's go outside and we'll scan the Corolla right now. So we are in our 97 Corolla here. And normally we would have this plugged in, we'd start this part of the video with a plugged in, but we found something rather interesting I've not actually seen on any other scan tool before. Let me plug this in and watch the screen. I'm plugging into the OBD2 port now, and the ignition on the car is on, I will say that. So uh, please turn the ignition on and then click on start. So I'm going to click on start. And it's actually reading the car right here and providing kind of an overall breakdown of the vehicle. We'll give it a second to show here. Okay, there we go. So looking at the top of this, it gives you a complete breakdown of the car just right off the top. And obviously green is good, red you probably want to look at, but so I'm seeing 
EGR, and I'm wondering if I click on this. I'm just going to try and click on this here. Can't click on that. Okay. So we'll have to potentially do some investigation. See what this actually is saying is going on. You're making model. So this is effectively just giving a report, but it doesn't let you view anything here. And that goes back to the expanded capabilities where you spend the extra $40 to get into your SRS and ABS and PCM and ECM stuff. So uh, we'll see if the codes, because the check engine light's on in this Corolla, we'll see if the codes offer any other information on the CAT and EGR showing in red there. But let's get out of here. We'll get back to the home screen. Just wanted to shout that out. Kind of neat to see that's at the top there. So let's jump into reading some codes. And we have ourselves a Toyota. And on their website, it says that this car should not work with the scan tool kind of thing. But yet here we are, 97 Corolla. It's reading the codes just fine. So that's an awesome thing to see. Okay, a few things going on here. We have O2 sensor, O2 sensor, EGR flow insufficient. So quite a few codes around the O2 sensor and EGR valve. We'd have to look up these codes. I'm not sure what P0401 means, but it could be the EGR valve is not functioning or it's partially functioning, blah, blah, blah. But uh, you could definitely use Chrome browser in the uh, MUCAR unit here to ch you know check that out and research what these codes mean. If we wanted to clear the codes, let me find the code clearing section here. Oops, there's Toyota. Is there a place where we could clear codes? Oh, okay, so here's our browser. Just by touching that, it comes up and explains the ECM fails to detect activity, blah, blah, blah. So there's the uh, Chrome browser, you know, jumping right in there automatically. That's really nice to see. I do not see where we clear codes in here, though. Not that we want to do that here, but it looks like it's in this separate section. So if we wanted to, I'm not going to do it here, but if we wanted to clear all the fault codes, we could right here. I'm going to click no. Let's go to some live data streaming. Okay, so here's all of our data streaming, throttle position. Let's see how much stuff is actually in here. Quite a bit of stuff. That's the bottom there. This is set up for kilometers per hour. I'm guessing we could go into the settings and change this to like a US, uh, you know, like imperial system or miles per hour or whatnot. So uh, oxygen sensor. Let's start the car and we'll see what actually, because it looks like some of these have a graph symbol next to them. So let me start the car. Okay, so we see Stuff is changing, that's good. And let me hit the graph on a few of these. And there's the graphing, that's great to see. Let me just hit the gas a little bit. There we go. And I've been using the touch screen here, but the buttons on the bottom here are very clicky. They're, they work very well. If you're in a shop, you have greasy gloves on. These uh, work really well. So you're not getting super comprehensive, in-depth diagnostic stuff here, but you're getting a lot of good basics if you're chasing a check engine light like our situation here. And oxygen sensor output. Okay, so that's interesting to see. We have B1S1 showing variations. And then this guy here, I think that's why they're calling it red because that's why it's showing red but maybe it just warmed up enough now with the exhaust, I'm not sure, but this is a little suspect just looking at it. Um, it probably should be closer, is my guess, closer to the other one. Let me get back down here. Your voltages should be probably similar on both of these, but nice to see you can actually dig in here and see this data. Let me turn the car off, and then we'll turn the ignition back on, so forgive the beeping. Let's do a, uh, an O2 sensor test here. We'll see what happens. And it doesn't say anything about starting the car. 
I'm just going to start the car to see what happens, to see if it like flashes red on any of these. Let me start the car here. So my guess is, based on the car running before, it's giving everything an okay here, which is interesting because, you know, the check engine light's on for the EGR valve and the O2 sensor or sensors, so I'm not quite sure why we're getting a thumbs up here versus the O2 uh, sensor code, the OBD2 code that we saw, but let me hit the back button here. Now, there's other uh, accessible software here. We have an EVAP system test. Let's jump in here and take a look. And, okay, so this says unavailable for this vehicle. I'm going to click yes and see what happens. And we're back to the same screen. Okay. And... Version info, onboard monitor. Let's see what onboard monitor does. Okay, so rich to lean sensor threshold voltage. They're saying all of these are okay. I can't really see. Oh, I can move that. Okay. I can't really, you know, say for certain why we have a check engine light on, but this is also saying okay, but. So this is some of the uh, the actual software here that we were talking about. This is the vehicle software you can expand. So this was the forty dollar. Let me just get this off of here. This was that forty dollar package that gives you the ECM, SRS, TCM. We're not going to buy this. Uh, we're not going to show you all of these, but know that you have more diagnostic in-depth capabilities here, and the same thing can be said here for the maintenance reset software. This one's actually $79.95, which gets you a lot of, of the usual suspects here when you start thinking of resets, uh, airbag light, ABS bleeding, uh, battery, coolant, diesel particulate filter, and then EGR. There's a bunch of stuff in here. We saw, uh, what else was it here? Oil maintenance. So a lot of the more comprehensive stuff beyond code reading is available here. And you can buy these individually as well. The bubble that I've been moving around the screen here, this is actually a tech support if you wanted to reach out to someone in the MUCAR world. This little icon here will allow you to take a screenshot. You can see it just saved it to the photo album. And if you had uh, data that you're graphing or something, or you just want to take a screenshot of the codes and you can email it to someone, you could do that by taking a screenshot there. Uh, we mentioned earlier in the video that this is uh, Android. You can see the Wi-Fi is hooked up there. This icon is this grayed out camera is a screen record. It'll actually let you screen record. And then there's your screenshot icon. That's the same thing right here. And your tech support bubble right there. And it also has a pretty nice uh, brightness you know, slider there. Looking in the report section, if you were made a report real quick and fast, you could email it to someone, a PDF, and then your settings. You see all the stuff in here. This is where we actually found, if you scroll down far enough, we found the browser. There's our Chrome browser right there. And if you wanted to do your software upgrades, upgrades and stuff, 24 hour format, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of the usual settings and stuff. Wrapping things up here, this isn't a bad unit. Uh, let me turn the car off. This isn't a bad unit. Uh, I would say if you need code reading and some essential like starter live data graphing, this is a great unit. It's durable, it's solid. You drop it on the ground, you're not gonna break it. Uh, throw it against the wall, you might break it. But uh, um, daily shop use is a quick, easy code reader second tool in the shop. You know, it's not a bad way to go if you are a uh, a DIY or guy fixing your own cars is a great way to go. Thinking about the software in here, forgive my frankness, but for the extra $39.95 and then you add on $79.95, you could get into a King Bolin Think Car 2 or an E Diag or something like that. So uh, 
compare those with this. We'll leave the links for those two units down in the description of the video you're watching, along with a video, I'm sorry, along with a link for this guy too, if you want to take a look at this, make the informed decision about buying this or maybe another King Bowling product or something like that. With that, if you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your cars on the road and certified fresh, Fresh Vintage Garage is your channel. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.